Hello, hello, hello. Hi, guys. Can and the Paraki. Hi, Paulette. Hi, teacher. How are you, Paulette? Fine, thank you. I'm fine. Thank you very much. Um, ahora sí quieren clase. <laughs> Hi, Jesus. How are you, Jesus? Hello, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine too. Are you ready now? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, there you go. Hi, Paul, how are you, mister? Hi, I am good. Are you ready to have classes? Yes. Yes, Kevin, how are you, Kevin? Uh, hi, teacher, fine, thank you, and you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you go to school today? Mm, yes. Yes. Evelyn, how are you, Evelyn? Okay. Is Evelyn? I'm fine, Evelyn. Thank you very much. Okay. Today, guys, we are going to work with... Mm -hmm -hmm. We finished this, the last day of classes, the last week. We finished this one. It's page number two. Mm, yes. No. Yes, Jesus. Yeah. Paulette, yeah. remember that you don't have a Teacher, book. No terminamos el ejercicio tres. El ejercicio tres no lo terminamos. Es que si yo no sí? lo tengo completo. Ah, okay. Este de aquí, ¿verdad? Yes. Ese no lo hemos hecho, ¿verdad, Jesús? No, el de arriba. Según yo no. Ajá, okay. Okay. All right. So let's do it. Okay. En realidad va, va a servir la clase del día de hoy porque eh, vamos a estar trabajando en pasado y va a funcionar para investigar un poquito de sus vacaciones. All right. Déjenme ver sus cámaras so we can start with the class. Please, guys. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Paulette. Thank you, Evelyn. Thank you, Kevin. Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
All right, so we're gonna continue with simple, simple past in this case, right? Si se ve bien la pantalla negra o la prefieren blanca? La pantalla negra. Negra is good? Okay. All right. So, simple pass. Let's do a very fast re Hi, Camila. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Fine, thank you. I'm fine. Thank you very much. Are you ready for today? Yes. Excellent. Okay. All right, simple past, we were talking about having this situation, okay? First of all, we are going to understand that this is the present, this is going to be the past, and this is going to be the future, okay? We understand that. Now, the class of today is going to be in here in the past, all right, the past. Now, simple past, if you think about simple past, we are going to give a definition as a, is used to talk about events, Eventos, okay? Events that happened. And this is important and finished. So that happened and finished in the past. Happened, this is very important. Happened and finished in the past. So Something like this, right? In the past, 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 past. Not connected with the present. Hi, Angie. How are you? Hi, good afternoon. I'm good, and you? I'm good, too. Thank you very much. All right. So in that case, we can say something, some examples, right, of simple past, similar to I don't know, Camila traveled. And then we're gonna do that termination ED, right? For simple pass. Camila traveled, where did you travel, Camila? This vacation. Travel to Cozumel, right? Now, when, Camila, when did you travel? Um, um, March. On March. Okay, so Camila traveled to Cozumel in March. Okay, now this one right here, the question here is going to be March. It's finished. Or oh, March is past. In this moment. Yes, right? It's past. So what we're talking about in here, it says, used to talk about events that happened and finished in the past. So in this case, Camila traveled. It is in the past because she said in March and March is in the past. We understand that? Yep, yep, yep. Yes, tell me. Oh, hi. Hello, how are you? I'm Regina. Oh, Regina. I'm sorry. Jaisa is here too. How are you, Jaisa? I'm good, teacher. And you? I'm good too. And we have Regina too. I'm sorry, Regina. I didn't see you in the camera. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm fine, thank you very much. Are you ready for classes now? Yes. Excellent. All right, we are working on page number two in the book number 15. Okie doke. 
Thanks. All right. You're welcome. So this is what we have, right? Simple past. Now, if we think about characteristics of simple past, what is the principal characteristic if we think about the conjugation of the verb? What is the principal characteristic? Uh, ED, Kevin, excellent. So characteristic number one, the principle is the verb finish with ED. Talking about what sentences? The positive, the negative, the question, which one finish with ED? The positive, the negative, or the question. Only one finishes with ED. The positive. The positive, Camila, thank you very much. That's why we said Camila traveled to Cozumel in March, right? There you go. Now, if that will be <clears throat> characteristic number two. What is the auxiliary, guys? Auxiliary for pass. What is it? Did. Excellent. Thank you very much, Jesus. Did. Okay. And did the auxiliary, this is like a note, okay? We will use auxiliary did. We will use auxiliary did for negatives and for questions. There you go. We will use the auxiliary did for negatives and for questions, okay? So we have the positive here, Camila traveled to Cozumel, right? Now, I'm talking about the verb. And the verb, we're going to divide it to make a negative, how do you make a negative? Well, actually with three elements, right? Like that. It will have to be Camila and then auxiliary. Yes. We, which one? Uh, the end or did. did. Excellent. It can be did not travel. We eliminate the ED, okay? The ED, we don't have it. Why we don't have ED in here? Why no ED? Uh, because I have an uh, auxiliary. Excellent, thank you. Because you have the auxiliary did. Very good, Kevin, yes. So I'm going to eliminate the ED and I'm going to say Camila did not travel to Cozumel in March, right? Okay. There you go. Now we're going to do the question, right? Camila did not travel to Cozumel, like Kevin said, right? This one is possible to make it contracted. Didn't travel to Cozumel. That's another option, okay? Now, in the question, the auxiliary goes at the beginning. We got auxiliary and then the subject and then the verb, by that, right? 
auxiliary subject verb complement. Remember that the auxiliary in a question is at the beginning, okay? So what is the real question? Did Camila? Did Camila, thank you, man. I don't know what I did. I'm sorry, I think I copy and paste. I don't know what I did. Thank you, Kevin. I'm gonna put it right here, okay? Did Camila? Travel to Cozumel in March. That's the question. Did Camila travel to Cozumel in March? Sorry about the disaster. I don't know how to eliminate it now anymore. Ahí está, okay. Did Camila travel to Cozumel in March? That's the question. What is the answer, Camila? We have a yes or we have a no? Uh, yes, she did. Yes, she did. Or no. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. Okay. All right. Entonces, ¿cómo traducen eso? Did Camila travel to Cozumel in March? What is it in Spanish? Es en paz. ¿Cómo se traduciría? Fue a Cozumel en marzo. Una vez más, Andy. Camila... Viajó a Cozumel en marzo. Excelente. Camila viajó a Cozumel, viajó pasado, right? Um, did Camila, ahí es donde va a estar la conjugación. All right, so the exercise right now, we need to finish uh, exercise number three, okay? And we need to do questions. So right now we have Paul, Jesus, Kevin, Camila, Evelyn. Paulette, Denji, Jaisa, Regina. Okay. We have nine students. We need one question per student. Okay. Similar to this. For example, this is the example. Example. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to say, Kevin. Kevin, siempre te pongo G, Kevin, I don't know why. Kevin, I and G. <laughs> Kevin, um, did your mother, did your mother work on vacations? No, she didn't. No, she didn't. Okay, that is the activity. You need to mention the name of the student and then a question. It can be, did you, did your mother, did your mom, but it's more common, did you, did you, did you, all right? Okay. Una pregunta para cada quien. Who is number one? Please. Mister. Yes, Regina. Sorry, pero ¿qué página es? No me podía encontrar la página. Um, it's page number two. Page number two is this activity. Look, it's after this. Page ah, number one. Creo que es el... Yeah, 15, page number one, page number two. You got it. Me teacher Kevin. 
All right, Kevin, I'm going to start with you. Um, yes, Angie. And... Did your sister travel with you in the audition? Did your sister travel with you? Where, Kevin? In the vacation. Uh, okay, on vacation. Good question, Kevin. Did, yes. No, Andy. It's Angie. Sorry. Sorry, Angie. Don't worry. Yes, my sister did. Yes, my sister did. Very good, Angie. Yes. Or yes, she did. That's another option. Okay. Who's ready for number two? Me. Regina, mm, Regina, shoot the question. Tell me. Mm, Camila, did you leave your city on vacation? Did you? In this one, Regina, it's in present. No left. What is the present of left? Uh, Porque aquí ya tenemos el pasado, mira. Entonces el verbo lo ponemos en presente. Leave. Exactly. Did you leave the city on vacation? Yes. Perfect question. Camila. Yes, I did. Yes, I did because you travel. Very good. Help me with question number three. Anybody? Me? Tell me, Camila. Uh, Evelyn, did you have one on vacation? Evelyn, did you have homework? You said? Uh, phone. Phone? Phone mm, day university. Ah, okay, okay. Did you have fun this vacation? Very good question. Miss okay. Evelyn? Yes. Yes, what? Like this, Evelyn. Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Very good. All right, let's continue. Number four. Me, teacher. Tell me, please, Jaisa. Um, Paulette, did you travel to other city on vacation? Excellent. No, I didn't. City on vacation. No, I didn't. Very good, Paulette. Excellent. Let's continue with one more question. Me, teacher. Tell me, Paulette. Regina, did you study on vacation? Excellent. No, I didn't. <laughs> of course you didn't. Very good. Six, Paul, you have one, mister? Mm, yes. Tell me. Um, Kevin, uh, no, yeah. Kevin, did you travel to the beach in vacation? Excellent. Mm, yes, I did. Did you travel to the beach on vacation? Very good. Where did you go, Kevin? Um, I will go to Tabasco. Tabasco? Uh, yes, teacher. Nice. Very good, Kevin. Number seven. Hmm. Regina Igacha. Angie, you have a question? Yes, I have a question. Tell me, please. 
Yaisa, all right. Yaisa, did you eat oh, yeah, meat yeah, in yeah, the yeah. vacation? Did you eat on the bed? Very good question. On vacation? Yes, I did. Me too, Jaisa. It's very fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, that's it. We got the questions. We got did travel. You see? This is the this is the past. No ed in the verb. Did leave. Did fun. I'm sorry, did have. Did travel. Did study. No conjugation, did travel again, did eat. Excellent. All right. Let's continue with more questions. But in this case, guys, we are going to include one more element, which is the WH words. So <clears throat> look at the formula that we have in here. Can you help me with number one, Jesus, please? Number one, mister? Uh, to create a WH question with the simple past, we will have to follow this formula. All right. The formula is WH word. Give me the examples of WH. What examples we have? How? How, that's good. What else? What? What, for sure. Give me more. We have where in here. Why? Why? Who? Who, very good. Who's? Who's? That's another one. When? Oh, wait. When? That's another one. Mm, how? Okay. What? Where? Why? Who? Who's? When? Which one? Which? With. With? Which? Oh, which, of course, which, which, right? And then we have the composed, for example, how often, it's another one. And then we have how much, it's another one. And then we have how many, it's another one. Okay, all right. So look at the situation here. If I eliminate this, this WH, I eliminate it, I'm going to have a regular question. Did you study music, Regina? Did you study music in secondary school? Yes, I did. Yes, I did, right? You answer with yes, I did. So the characteristic for that is going to be that you begin the question with did. But if you open this, where did you study music, Regina? I studied music in the in a school. I studied, and then we come back to the positive sentence, which is that conjugation with ed, right? Because it's a positive sentence in this case. I studied positive i studied music where regina again please in the school in the school right donde estudiaste where did you study okay no questions jesus in that case no no paul no, no. Okay, Jesus. Paul, no questions? No. Paulette, you got it? No. No questions. Very good. Let's continue then. So, 
Look at the answer. The, let's go with the exercise number one. Miss Paulette, can you help me to read, please? Teacher, uno se tiene que hacer pregunta y el otro hay que se tiene que hacer. No, es, es una línea larga de dividida en dos. Ah, yes. But help me with the instructions, please. Look at the noun and try the formulate to beginning of the question on the second line. Replace the noun with its object pronoun. Okay, all right. So yeah, we have to do two activities, one second. Look at the noun and try to formulate the beginning of the question. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Like, in here, we are going to identify the subject. So, what is the beginning of the question? Because the answer, I study to be a teacher. ¿Qué preguntarían? I study to be a teacher. Tell me, Kevin, yes. Did you study... Uh, teacher. Ah, ok. Pero, ¿no necesitarían una WH in that case? Because the answer is to be a teacher. Tell me. Tell me, tell me, Regina. What did you study for? What did you, very good, study? What did you study for? Como para qué estudiaste, no? O estudiaste para doctor or something like that. What did you study for? And then the answer, I studied to be a teacher. We understand? Okay. Look at number two. She got married. She got married last November. Maybe you focus on last November to make the question. What's the question? Oh, what WH primero? When? When, right? Okay, when, auxiliary? Did. Did, subject? You. Here, I'm not yeah. sorry, when did. When did, it's correct, Kevin. Yes. When did, this is the, this is the subject. When did she, when did she, verb, but no conjugated. Yeah. When did she get married? When did she get married? She got married last November. We understand that one? Yes. Look at number three. They played for three hours. What is the essential information to make the question? What information is important in the answer to make the question? Three hours. Three hours, Regina, very good. For three hours, okay. Aquí va lo bueno, eh? ¿Qué WH usas para representar for three hours? Es una compuesta, okay? 
que no tenemos aquí. It would have to be how long. Ese es, ¿cómo traducen how long? How long is your class? ¿Qué tan tardada o cuánto dura algo así? ¿Cuánto dura? How long? How long? ¿Cuánto? O por cuánto tiempo, right? So, we're going to do how long. What is next? How long did, what is the uh, subject? How long did was the subject? They. Excellent. How long did they and the verb no conjugated? What is it? How long did they? Play. Excellent, Jesus. With ED or no ED? No ED. No ED. Why no? Because, Jesus? Because it's a question. Because it's a question and you have... It's a question, mm -hmm. and you have you have the auxiliary, Kevin. Yeah. Because of that, how long did they play? They play for three hours. We understand. We can continue. Let's continue. Number four. Look, I admire Mother Teresa. You know Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa de Calcuta. Yes. All right. What is the important info in the answer? Admit it. Admire? Mm, not the verb, Paul. Maybe not the verb. Pues la persona, la madre Teresa. Maybe, the, yeah. Maybe, maybe this one. ¿Qué podrías decir? ¿Quién admira a Madre Teresa? Y ahí tendrías que responder. Yo, yo la admiro, right? Y la otra, ¿cuál sería? If you do Mother Teresa. Ad What WH for people? Who? Who? Thank you very good. Yes. Who? Auxiliary? WH. Auxiliary. Subject. Verb. Complement. B. Who did? What happened? Me asustaste, Angie. Asustaste a todos, creo. Hey, are, you, are, you, are, are you okay? Yes, ah, it's okay. Like, sorry. <laughs> Who did? Come on, you can do it. Si la respuesta es I, la pregunta tuvo que ser directa. What is a direct question? You. 
Yes. Who did you admire? With no D. Who did you admire? A quien admiraste? I admired Mother Teresa. Okay. No questions? Number five, look at the answer. I wanted to be Superman when I was a kid. I wanted to be Superman when I was a kid. What? What? Well, what? Did you want? Did you want? What did you want? Okay. A little bit more. What did you want? Ahí dice, ¿qué, qué quisiste? Mm, what did you want to be? Excellent. What did you want to be? ¿Qué quisiste ser? Finish it, Regina. You need to give me more compliment. What did you want to be? When you... When you... Very good. Vas a cambiar el was por que tienes you. Where... Excellent. Where a kid... What? Exactly. When you were a kid. What did you want to be when you were a kid? ¿Qué, qué quisiste ser? Right? I wanted to be Superman when I was a kid. Very nice. Number six. Look at the info. She organized the towels by color. You remember towels? Mm, toallas. Toallas. She organized the towels by color. What is the important information in the answer to create the question? She. It can be she. What question will you do in that in that situation, Jesus? Uh, who? Who? Auxiliary? Did. Who did? Aquí, Jesus, no podemos poner ya sujeto porque tenemos el who. Estamos preguntando el sujeto, right? Yes. Okay. So we go next to the verb. What uh, is the verb? Orga, organize. Uh -huh. Organize with ed? No. No. Only, only with e because your is the original verb. Who did organize? Now you can complete it, Jesus. The dolls. The towels. Who did organize the towels? And the answer will be she. She organized the towels by color. Existe otra pregunta. Maybe, maybe, maybe the towels. O sea, no sabemos qué organizó. ¿Qué pregunta sería? What? 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 What did you organize? What did you organize? O puede ser, how did you organize? The Another option. Excellent. How did you? I think this is better. How did you organize 
the towels. Right? ¿Cómo organizaste las toallas? And then you can answer by color. Okie dokie. No questions in this moment? No? Let's see. Look. He never worked on Sundays. What's the important info? Remember, the important info is for you to select the WH word, right? You got it. What what WH will you use? When? When, I think that's the best option, yes. Because we are, this is the info, right, Kevin? So we're gonna go when. Indeed. Did. Subject, Kevin? And uh, he. When did he, aquí puedes poner el never, ok? Mm. When did he mm. never work work with ED, Kevin? Did... No. No, ED. When did he never work? ¿Cuándo es que nunca trabajó, right? He never worked on Sundays. Perfect. Look at number eight. What info is the important, Camila? When I arrive. When, uh -huh. when, give me the auxiliary. When did you Perfect. When did you arrive to the house? When did you arrive to the house? I arrived at 1.30 p.m. Very good. How about number nine? What's the important info, Paulette? What is important for you in number nine? Fly. A fly, right? And what question will you use? Because this is an object. What's an animal, right? You got it. Una mosca. Una mosca. Yeah. Una mosca. ¿Qué WH you will use? Who? Who? Okay. It's possible. O sea, ¿quién? ¿No? La respuesta sería I. Yes. In that case, it would be who did kill. No subject. Who did kill a fly? ¿Quién mató una mosca? Right? Y ahí, resp ahí responderíamos I. And what if the question is for the fly? Not for I. O sea, queremos saber qué mató. Ok. 
Come on, you can do it. No? Que sería, ¿qué mataste? ¿Qué mataste? A uh, fly. A fly. And what is the question, Evelyn? ¿Qué mataste? Um, who did kill this? Uh, who you did kill? Um, no. Me teacher. Mm -hmm. Let me see. What? Well, let them, Kevin. What did you kill? What did you kill? There you go, Evelyn. Lucy, what did you kill? ¿Qué mataste? Is that your question, Kevin? Similar. Yes, teacher. Very good. What did you kill? ¿Qué mataste? I kill a fly. All right, almost finished. This is very similar. I call Stephanie. What's the question? Who did you call? Who did you call? Who did you call? A quien llamaste? Who did you call? I called Stephanie. Very good. Number 11, almost finished. My dad cooked this morning. It can be a question, my dad, this morning. It can be cooked. What WH is better? Ideas? Jesus, you have one? Uh, when did you cook? When did, no you, porque el sujeto, look at the subject. Ah. When did he? When did he cook? When did he cook? My dad cooked this morning. Very good, Jesus. I'm coming with Jaisa, you want to help me? Yes. Yes. Tanya washed her car on the street. Many possibilities. Mm -hmm. Where did Tanya wash her car? Where did Tanya wash? We are going to eliminate the ED, Jaisa. Por qué? ¿Por qué tenemos que eliminar la ED? Porque ya tenemos sí, D. Eh, exactly, both. Kevin, ya yes, say yes. Where did Tania wash her car? ¿Dónde lavó su carro Tania? Very good. Tania washed her car on the street. This is the place. Perfect. Okay. So, mañana vamos a hacer un ejercicio de preguntas así, relacionadas a vacaciones. Por ejemplo, where did you travel? Where did you travel? Or who did you visit? ¿Me explico? All right. This is for tomorrow. Bienvenidos de vacaciones. Ya sé que no queríamos regresar. Yo tampoco quería regresar, quería dormir. Pero ya estamos de regreso y hay que trabajar, ¿ok? Nos vemos mañana. ¿Sale? Yes. yes. Bye. Bye. Bienvenidos. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you, teacher. Bye. You're welcome, guys. Bye-bye.